Hello and thank you for tuning in to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. And once again, I have an amplifier here that is in need of a overhaul. So believe it or not, this is a power acoustic BAMF. They call this one the 8000.1D. Well, it's not 8,000 watts. Maybe if lightning strikes it, but it's not 8,000 watts. But I wanted to go over what is wrong with this amplifier. So if you read the specifications for this amp, it says it's one ohm stable, which it very well could be one ohm stable. I have to see what transistors it's using, but we will make it there shortly. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, 15 ohms. Yep. So we have a shorted output section here. So 15 ohms. Oh, 1.6 ohms. So this set of transistors right here are definitely shorted. Let's see what architecture these guys use. So they're using the the IRS two one one three here. Uh, so one two three four five six. So they're doing three and three uh, for the output. And let's see, do we just have the one side that's shorted? Yes, just the one side that's shorted. So let's see what we're dealing with here. This, by the way, this amplifier was purchased off of Wish.com. So I got this for about $70, and these go for about $250 new. So my fingers were crossed that the board wasn't burnt in half or anything severely tragic. When it came in, I was quite surprised to see that this, uh, the board is intact, so for the price, it's uh, not too bad of a repair here. So I'm just going to pull some of these heat sink bars here real quick and just going to see what these guys are using. So they're using the, oh, they're using the 260 ends on the output, and they're using the a little thermal compound here to see they're using the 064 ends on the power supply so there you go two of the most common to 247 transistors you'll find in uh, korean style amplifiers so what we'll do is we will pull this board out and we will get these transistors replaced so stay tuned, I'll be right back with you. All right, yet I, I see this is still in the heat sink. So I'm gonna do something a little different with this board. I don't have really anything invested in this, just a little bit. It's more for making, you know, video content for you guys, but I'm gonna replace these the IRP 260 ends here in the output section. I'm going to replace those. Call me crazy, but we're going to put some IRP 290 N20s in. They're 94 amp 200 volt transistors versus the 200 amp or 200 volt 50 amp transistors. Uh, the the specifications are fairly close. It's, they've got a little bit higher capacitance. The 90 N20s do. Than the 640 or the 260 ends, but we're gonna pop them in that circuit and see how it plays with that 2113 IC. We'll see. We may have to change some uh, gate 
resistance values just slightly. But I think I'm going to make this into more of an experiment than just a repair and resell. I think we'll just have some fun with this. So I do have some parts on order. Um, I have some IRFP 1405s coming for the power supply. And I have the 90 and 20 Ds coming for the output section. So uh, let's, uh, just, let's just see if we can make this run, I don't know, a little cooler. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, just like uh, Wilson Audio Labs just released a video about a modified Orion HCCA. Well, let's see what we can do with uh, with one of these. I mean, I'm not going to modify the rail uh, capacitance or voltage or voltages. Um, they're using, oh, what are these? These are uh, 100 volt, 1800 microfarad rail capacitors and uh, 250 volt, 220 microfarad uh, output filter capacitors. So you're running, you're running 100 volt rails on this. And just to note also on this, this is two separate power supplies. Very interesting design here. So you have two separate inputs for your power and two separate remotes, which I'm going to assume they're tied together. They'd have to be because they're running a single TL494 here. I'm seeing that this is ran as two separate power supplies, which could be a good thing. Especially if we uh, switch these power supply transistors to the 1405s. I think this will make it a very robust, stable amplifier board. So let me get the parts in. Leave your comments down below what you think about those replacement parts. Yay or nay, let me know. I'll be back with you soon. Thank you for watching.